you want to learn how to change the regular method you meant base mesh into your own character and still be able to animate it inside of Maya. Well, you've come to the right place. Hi artists and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to learn how to rig a custom MythoHuman character. I'm going to teach you how to rig it back inside of Maya to do animation for instance afterwards with your character. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. For this character, I started off using this MythoHuman, Mr. Trey. I changed this model to match the likeness of KSI Yes, the YouTuber. So in your case, you could have started by using the MethaHuman base mesh, sculpted it inside of ZBrush, Blender, whatever you're using, and then bring it back into Blender. Or you could have had your own base mesh, sculpted it, and then wrapped it around basically the MethaHuman topology. If you want to know the different steps in order to have the MethaHuman inside of Maya, you can actually check out this video that I've made. So before we touch anything, I just want to show you that the rig is in fact working. I can move the MethaHuman with no problem. So for sure, do that for the first step. Make sure that the MethaHuman is actually working so that later on, if you have any problems, you don't think it's because of the steps that we actually took, but because it wasn't working to begin with. Now, on the left, I have my custom face that I want to rig onto my model. Keep in mind that it is currently offset for visual purposes, so I don't really suggest you do that so you don't have any transformation on top of that geometry. All right, so let me just look for my blend shape window, which is in the Windows tab, Animation Editor, then Face Editor. Once I have my shape editor open, I'm going to first select the custom face and then the MethaHuman face. Then in the shape editor, I'm going to click on create blend shape to have a new deformation on my model. You can name it however you want to be clear. And now if I move the slider, you'll see that the original MethaHuman mesh is changing into the custom one. And it is still connected to the rig, of course, so I can use it to animate it. With all of that being said, if for some reason, when you're trying to blend both meshes, it doesn't work and the mesh appears broken, actually, it probably has to do with the vertex order. And if you want a more visual step-by-step, -step, I suggest again that you follow this video from Ender which is a very great tutorial that I followed when I had this problem. Okay, so changing the face is actually the same process as the body, so I don't think I'm going to show you both. Now, let's get into the eyes. As you can see right now, I'm selecting the original MethoHuman eyeball that is completely offset from the current eye socket. And now, I'm selecting the eyeball that was placed while sculpting the custom face with the correct position. So what I'm going to do is to rig this eye to the MethaHuman rig. Okay, so first off, we're gonna create a sphere by going into the Geometry tab. Then let's position that sphere as good as we can to match the position of the eyeball that we want to rig. Once you matched it as close as you could, we can create a bone joint by going on the tab, Skeleton, Create Joint. That is the bone we are basically going to use to rig the new eyeball. All right, so now we're going to match the position of the new bone to the sphere we have just created. We're going to first select the sphere and then the new joint. Then we're going to click on the constraint tab and click on position and voila. <laughs> uh, the joint is now positioned where the eye is. Now you might be asking yourself, why didn't we use the actual eyeball to match the position of our new joint? Well, the reason is very simple. The eyeball actually has a deformation into it for the pupil, right? So that would mean that if we did use the constraint on the actual eyeball and not the sphere, the joint wouldn't be centered into the eyeball. It would actually be a little bit offset, which is not something that we want when rigging. Now that we have the joint in place, I want it to be moving with the MethaHuman rig, right? So in the outliner, search for the eye. In my case, it is going to be the left eye for my MethaHuman, so I'm going to have both of them shown. Now before, I have my joint constrained in the rotation to the other joint so that they move together. I am going to make sure that they actually have the same orientation. As you can see, 
I'm looking at the colors of the axis of the original joint and you can see that the red axis is going left, the blue is going right and the green is going up. But if I select my new joint, it's not the case. Uh, the blue axis, which is the Z by the way, is pointing up. So I'm going to fix that by rotating the joint to match the original one. And now that I'm done, I'm going to click on Freeze Transform. We're finally going to be able to constrain that new joint to the old one. So first, let's select the old joint and then the one we have just created. Finally, we can click on Orient and now our joint is going to move with the original one. All right, so the last step finally to rig the actual eyeball to the new joint we have created. Simply select the joint and then the mesh, Skin tab, then Skin and ta-da! As you can see, now that we're moving the rig's eyes, it's actually also moving our custom eyeball. Uh, this is me from my editing chair. I just kind of got the idea that I wanted to show you all how to quickly rig clothing onto your character. So you're welcome. <laughs> but I'm not gonna go too much in depth because this is not my specialty. I'm not a rigger in a day-to-day -day life. But anyways, I just thought that I would just show you these tips. Back to the show. All right, so I have my character shorts that are obviously not moving with my character when I move the ring around. So to remedy that, I am first going to select the root bone and then right click, select hierarchy. And as you can see, it will select all the bones from the outliner. Once this is done, I can select the shorts mesh and then go in the skin tab and click on bind skin. Once it's rigged, as you can see, it's moving with the leg, but it still has some major deformation. So a quick way to fix that without getting too much into rigging per se is to select the body of our meta human, which is usually well skinned, and then our clothing. And finally, once more, we go into the skin tab click on copy skin weight. What copy skin weight does is basically copying the source mesh skin weight to the selected mesh. So in the case of our shorts, the vertices were following the closest point of surface from the legs. Oh, and here were the settings I was using. This will fix most of the problems that we had, but unfortunately, as you can see, not all of them. Even though this step helped fix a lot of the deformation, we still have a lot of vertices going everywhere. So to help fix the problem, I'm first going to isolate the mesh and then make sure to select all of the vertices that are problematic. So in this situation, it was pretty much the pelvis area. So I'm going to use this time around the skin hammer skin weights to tame those vertices. When using that tool, they are now taking into account the vertices around them to know where they should be. And finally, once more, I'm using the copy skin weight to cover up the legs. It's a good idea to go in extreme positions so that you can cover them up. And now if I put back my leg in a normal position, you'll see that the deformations are working fine. All right, so pretty much settles everything that has to do with rigging a custom method human. Hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up to let me know that you actually enjoyed the content that I'm making. Leave a comment down below if you have any suggestions on what my next video should be about. Don't forget that I am reading the suggestions and that is always what drives me to do these videos. Subscribe if you want to have more content like this and I guess I'll see you in the next one, guys. 